Hey, how's it going everyone? Just back in with another sequence video. So this one is in Matthew 19 and um, it's a little bit encoded, but I would say not really that much. And um, it includes a reference to the two witnesses. So that's amazing. So Matthew 19, six. And so for numerology people, one times nine is nine. And if you rotate that, you get a six. And so this is Matthew six, six. So oftentimes, not always, but you'll find references to Christ's second coming in 33, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6 18, and, you know, things like that. So, because it's at the time of the 666B system, you know, 33, and all that kind of stuff. So we see that again here. What therefore God hath joined together, let, uh, not, let not man put asunder, or let not man break apart. And so... God is joined together. So this is a coded reference for God um, taking away his elect and, um, you know, uh, for salvation, you know, prior to wrath. And so right after that um, comes God's wrath, and then he'll be bringing the two witnesses here. And one of them is Moses. So in verse 7, we get a reference to Moses. Why did Moses then command to give a writing of divorcement? Verse 8, Moses, became, Moses, because of the hardness of your hearts, suffered you. So in that case, it means allowed, but the word suffered, but in this time of the great tribulation, Moses and Elijah are going to be inflicting the plagues, you know, in Revelation 16, at least those. So next, that's good. We have a coded reference to, um, I wouldn't even say a coded, a reference to Moses is one of the two witnesses. And then if you go further down in verse 28, two times eight is 16. Okay, this is, um, again, the number six, 66, um, Isaiah 66, 15 is in 666. And that's to destroy everybody on God's left-hand side. And so here in verse 16, and so again, it's Matthew 9, 28. And so it's Matthew 6, 28, 16, Matthew 6, 6. Okay. And so, and Jesus said unto them, Verily I say unto you that ye which have followed me in the regeneration when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory. So this throne in the, in the judgment in the last days is referencing these so-called UFOs. And his is obviously going to be the biggest. Okay. Ye shall also sit upon 12 thrones judging the 12 tribes of Israel. So and this is a coded reference to when Christ returns with his elect. Okay. And so this is referring to the kingdom, but for the sake of this sequence, because some of it's encoded at times, this is referencing when Christ returns, you know, to destroy 6-6, six, six, you know, everybody on God's left-hand side. And that destruction is going to be body and soul. Verse 29, now we have a reference to the kingdom. And everyone that hath forsaken houses or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife or child or lands for my name's sake shall receive a hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. And so that's sequential as well, because there's going to be a time where, you know, in the kingdom, there's going to be a reign, you know, where Christ is actually in rulership. And then there's going to be like families, you know, and land and all that kind of stuff. And so, and then after that shall inherit everlasting life. I believe that that's, a time where the elect are going to see the earth being run righteously, you know, and then they're going to get something after that. Okay. It's like, it's a process. Okay. And so this is hell. This is the judgment. That's the reward. And then everlasting life is the, the final end result of all of this, of the elect ultimately being promoted. Verse 30, but many that are last shall be, sorry, but many that are first shall be last and the last shall be first. And so um, the leadership in the kingdom is going to be by humble people, you know, and then ultimately it's God's elect, 144,000. So uh, Matthew 19 reaffirms the sequence perfectly. Hope everyone's doing well. Bye.